everybody's been talking about. It's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. Teddy, obviously we have a matchup that the fans love, power puncher versus power puncher, but if you're one of the two trainers, what do you think? Well, I'm thinking about defense. If I can be a little bit better on defense, my power's not going away. I'm still going to be okay in that area. Well placed shot after landing there again. Oh, that's good stuff. Fires right back with one of his own. By Raging Bull. Oh! Scores big with the hook to the head. Halfway through round number one. Holy cow! He did not see that right hand. And the ref's not going to tolerate the headbutt there. He hands out the warning. Foot block by Raging Bull. Hey, I thought he was going to be knocked out just moments ago, but he has survived it. Well, he has a granite chin. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. Oh, wow, what a right hand he just got caught by, and he's looking to tie up. Well, that's exactly what he deserves, the ref getting involved, warning him for the headbutt. And this... Give him a rope, give him advice to get down. That belt line well. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. It's been a recent trend, Teddy, where we've seen in the heavyweight division a lot of Eastern Europeans dominate. Why do you think that is? Same thing in basketball. I don't think they're the better athletes, but you know what? There's an urgency. There's a real hunger. This is their opportunity. The fighters over here and the basketball players for that part, they have too many options here. Over there, they make the most of it, and fundamentally, they're very sound. <laughs> He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Nice block by Raging Bull. Teddy, he went from being on the edge of the cliff to now climbing back up the mountain. Well, you know, that's where you want to know if a guy recovers fast. Obviously, he has the capacity to recover very quickly. Great movement to get away from those punches. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. A headshot block. Missed the body shot. There it is! Raging Bull! Feeling the effects now of that hook. Back to fight action as a new round is underway. Of course, in that last round, it was fairly one-sided. He was hit pretty hard, and now he has to overcome that here. Yeah, you don't have to be no to know that. I mean, everybody saw, you know, he got the leg and his knees buckled, did a little dance there. But what you have to really know now is know why you got hit and correct that immediately. Off the mark. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Protecting his head well with his guard.
some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. <laughs> Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Not able to connect with the uppercut. And that's what fighters do. Pull the trigger right away after taking one. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. You know, he did a very nice job of finishing up that. He put the third punch in there and landed the combination. A headshot block. are all wondering, can he survive the start of this round after the way we saw him go down in that last round? Well, it's up to his opponent, Lou. Now, his opponent gets a little careless and he rushes in a little bit too close, can he get a chance to grant those hands and tie him up? And then, he can kill a little of the clock to buy it. Holy cow! He brings it downstairs with a hook. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Raging Bull's trying to get back in this round after being knocked down in the last round. But with just 60 seconds between rounds, Teddy, how much can really happen? How much can really benefit a fighter who is knocked down? Well, a lot has to happen. First of all, you hit him with that punch. So cold water on top of the head where you invigorate him a little bit. You know, get his senses back a little bit. And you have to talk to him. Once he calms down, once you physically get him back on track, you look to see if he's okay, and then you have to tell him why he got dropped to begin with. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here? Well, two ass and they go, oh no, actually. Oh, and there you go. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. And that is it. A repeat offender, and the referee deducts a point. And you see he turned defense into offense, comes back with the counterpunch. And that's exactly what he brings to the game. He makes you miss, he makes you pay. And he makes you think twice about throwing a punch later on. We got a fighter who is knocked down. Oh, Raging Bulls in a bad place right now. He was tagged. And for the second time tonight, he goes down.